Our devotional reading today is entitled, Jesus was a friend to every human being. Then said he, Lo, I come to do thy will, O God. Hebrews 10 verse 9 Christ's dignity as a divine teacher was of an order higher than the dignity of priests and rulers. It was distinct from all worldly pomp, for it was divine. He dispensed with all worldly display and showed that he regarded the gradations of society fixed by opulence and rank as of no value. He had stepped down from his high command to bring to human beings power to become the sons of God, and earthly rank was not of the least value with him. He could have brought with him 10,000 angels if they would help him in his work of redeeming the race. Christ passed by the homes of the wealthy, the courts of royalty, the renowned seats of learning, and made his home in the obscure and despised Nazareth. His life, from its beginning to its close, was a life of lowliness and humility. Poverty was made sacred by his life of poverty. He would not put on a dignity of attitude that would debar men and women, however lowly, from coming into his presence and listening to his teaching. No teacher ever placed such a signal honor upon man as did our Lord Jesus Christ. He was known as the friend of publicans and sinners. He mingled with all classes and sowed the world with the truth. In the marketplace and the synagogue, he proclaimed his message. He relieved every species of suffering, both physical and spiritual. Beside all waters, he sowed the seeds of truth. His one desire was that all might have spiritual and physical soundness. He was the friend of every human being. Was he not pledged to bring life and light to all who would receive him? Was he not pledged to give them power to become the sons of God? He gave himself wholly and entirely to the work of soul saving. As he went about doing good, Every day's experience was an outpouring of his life. In one way only could such a life be sustained. Jesus lived in dependence upon God and communion with him. To the secret place of the Most High, under the shadow of the Almighty, men now and then repair. Then their faith fails, the communion is interrupted and the life work marred. But the life of Christ was a life of constant trust, sustained by continual communion, and the service for heaven and earth was without failure or faltering. As a man, he supplicated the throne of God, until his humanity was charged with a heavenly current that connected humanity with divinity. Receiving life from God, he imparted life to men. Taken from Reflecting Christ, page 229. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today and we ask that you will help us to have that connection with you so that we can be a friend to every human being that we come in contact with. We ask these blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. Our thought for today is, every morning take time to begin your work with purr. Do not think this is wasted time. It is time that will live through eternal ages. This program was brought to you by the Maypen Seventh Day Adventist Church. You may find more at Maypen SDA at youtube.com or by following us on Facebook at Maypen SDA Church. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.